Let's talk serotonin. Serotonin, what is it? It's a neurotransmitter, yeah? It means it has an impact on your nervous system. It can make nerve cells, brain cells, that whole system do something. So it's totally involved in so many important things like that feel-good neurotransmitter. It's also a sleep helper. Would it surprise you to know that it's also involved in appetite and satiety and moving food down the digestive tract and pain perception and like quite a bit more. So it's a neurotransmitter. Do you know where it's made? <laughs> your gut. Heck yeah. Something like 90 to 95% of your serotonin actually lives in the gut. Way more than an influence on sleep and mood. It has that role to play in satiety, cravings, motility, which is the movement of food down the digestive tract. So it's one of those telltale signs. If you've got a hard time moving stuff through your digestive tract, I wonder if you're having a hard time making serotonin. And then you can take that extrapolation outwards and see what else is struggling. Is sleep hard? Is mood tricky? Is some of the other stuff a little bit tricky? Hmm. Yeah, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but if something's going on in the gut, something's struggling at the gut, this is where it just has this capacity to reverberate in so many other systems in the body. Yep. I think it's safe to say your gut is your second brain. Heck, that's what we're talking about on Wednesday coming up. We're gonna be doing a full two hour deep dive into serotonin, neurotransmitters, vagus nerve, this whole nervous system you have in your gut and how much it has a sway on the nervous system and gut connection that's driving so much of what those symptoms are that we are moving through our days with. We're gonna be doing some simple solutions, everyday stuff that you could do to help support this to work much better. Do you need this? Mm. Don't we all? Can't wait to see you there. Don't you know.